gonna do the Wingate warm-up protocol. So there's a few things that we already took care of before we started this test. So one, we got Jeff's weight. Jeff is 91 kilograms, and that's gonna dictate the end weight for this protocol, and then also the starting weight for this protocol. So for the warm-up, you're actually gonna start out with 20%. I have already put on the appropriate weight. The basket is one kilogram, okay? So he was about 1.4 kilograms on here. Um, the working weight that he's gonna use is 7.5% of his body weight. So that's already calculated. We already have all the appropriate weight right here. And this will be what he's gonna be using on his lap, basically about the last minute of his warm up. So things that we've also already done are making sure that he has an appropriate knee angle. It's gonna be a little bit greater than, for example, the other um, cycling tests that we've done, it might be 20 to 25 degrees and other things, I'll let you lean into this and we'll find your, so this is how you adjust the handle. I'll let Jeff uh, pick whatever his comfort level is. So you can you can adjust it just by twisting this way and then moving that way. So you wanna just kind of just a little bit closer? Yeah. How's that? Perfect. Okay. So that'll be that right there. So the, before you actually get started with the test, there's a few things. One, you're gonna need to designate two people to be counting revolutions. So they'll be counting the revolutions every five seconds and calling it out to a data recorder. Okay, so the data recorder is another position that you need. Um, and then a timer, okay? So just for the sake of this, I'll be doing the timing and we don't need to worry about recording any data. I'll just be incrementally adding load on at the end of each minute. So at the end of each minute, Jeff is going to do a four to six second sprint, just to get used to the load. And once this entire warm-up protocol is done, he's gonna have a recovery period where he can either be um, just lightly cycling or he can just be sitting right there before the test actually begins. Okay. So but your first minute weight is actually on there, so you can start going for a minute, and you're on the clock. Nice day, huh? Yep. Yeah. Actually, it's kind of cold, though. It's a little cold, but a little cold, yeah. Did you um, notice how I burn more calories per day than you? One, four. You know what's up? video. That's okay. We'll talk about it after. You didn't get 30 seconds. Do you want what? Wait for fidelity here. How you feeling? Not good. Good. There you go. Yeah, 20 seconds. So we're coming in on your first four to six second sprint. So I'll give you I'll give you a three, two, one that you go into. Okay, I'll give you a three, two, one stop. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, stop. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more load, Jeff. How's that feeling? Good. Good. Doing great. seconds until the sprint. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, stop. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more weight. Almost at the four minute mark. So we got two more sprints all together. Great. Now let you recover. Halfway into this round. seconds to the sprint. And five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one, stop. 
three, two, one. And add a little bit more weight. We'll make, we'll make this one your last one, okay? So I didn't mention this. The cadence that he should be going at is about 60 to 70 rotations per minute, okay? You're doing a good job. And by the end of this warm up, you should be basically getting to feel what the actual work weight is going to be when he does the test. How about we just get you right into it? How's that sound? Ready? Let's go for a sprint in three, two, one. Three, two, one, and then just I'm going to take the load off. I'll let you just do some light pedals. If I can take the load off. And then, Jeff, do you want to keep going for your cool down, or would you like to just stop completely? I can stop completely. You can stop completely. Great. Thank you. And that's the warm-up protocol for the Wingate test.